What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. This video is part of the new tutorial series where I'll be teaching you all about the GFX and the VFX that I use in my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to apply Sabo effect to your clips on both Android and iOS. The app that I'm using is called Node Video which is available on both platforms so you guys should not have any problems even if you're using an iOS device. Before we go into the video, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also turn on the post notifications so that you guys never miss another upload. So now let's get right into the video. So first we're going to make a new project. After that we're going to tap on this plus icon and import our media. For this video, I'm just going to be using a super smooth slow-mo character cinematic that I recorded for some video in the past. After that, make sure to adjust your position and scale. Since my video is uh, on 1440p, you, I'm just going to have to scale it up a bit to adjust to the 1920 by 1080 resolution that I'm working on. Uh, and yeah, I'll be providing a, a link to this specific video in the description so that you guys can download and follow along. But you guys can pretty much use this effect anywhere. Personally, I love using this uh, effect on guns rather than the character. I'm just showing this character cinematic for the sake of the tutorial. Hmm, so yeah, this is the part that I want to use the saver effect on. We're gonna start from here and uh, we're gonna finish all the way over at maybe here yeah now you guys just have to tap on this plus icon again and uh, you see the lightsaber written here just import that effect so here comes the tricky and most annoying part of this effect once you import the effect you're gonna see something like this and you just use two fingers to pinch in or pinch out to zoom in and zoom out now what we're gonna do is put keyframe or draw the saver effect manually all over our character like around the character oh yeah before that we're just gonna reduce the intensity of the saver a bit like say 0.1 or 0.2 or something like that so that we can actually see what we're drawing and we can clearly see the outline of the character which we're gonna trace uh, and draw the entire effect so now we just have to put more points and trace the saver around the whole character it's a long and tedious process and because of this I don't usually do too much of this you know because it takes such a long time to do a complete saver effect for a uh, even just a gun so I usually tend to avoid it now I'm not gonna be too precise drawing this effect for the sake of tutorial I'm gonna draw a whole mask but if you guys are using this make sure to zoom in a lot more take more time and put a lot more points to make it as precise as you can here is another tip to make your life a bit more easier while adding new points, do not tap very close to the previous point, tap a bit away from it, then tap and hold and reposition the new point to wherever you want it to be. Here is another trick, you tap and hold and then drag towards the left or right. With that, you can convert the straight line into a curve. I usually do not recommend people using this technique because it is tedious as it is. Okay, If you're going to use curves, it's going to become that much more complicated later on when you're going to you know, trace it again for another frame and animate it. But still, I'm just going to show you guys for the sake of the tutorial. As you guys can see, I'm having trouble with these handles. These handles are usually used to change the shape and size of the curve. And my fingers are freaking fat, okay? <laughs> so I'm having even more trouble adjusting them. So yeah, I don't really recommend using the curves. So yeah, you can just use the lines instead. Just put a lot more points so that you guys can, you know, draw a more precise outline. So just take your time, put as many points as you can, be as precise as you can. That's the secret to, you know, having a good saber. Anyway, I'm just going to fast forward this process so that you guys wouldn't have to see what's not important.
so yeah here's another tricky part it's just in this app you have to select the video layer again first after you after you're done drawing the saver effect for the first frame you can't really you know choose another frame while being on the saber layer you're gonna have to choose the video layer first then go to another frame like next frame or next whatever frame you want to be on and then choose the lightsaber layer again and then adjust the saber uh, you know the saber points to animate the saber effect oh yeah another important thing is before you go to the next frame in the video layer make sure to tap on that plus icon to put a path keyframe what this will do is gonna help you or it's it's just gonna add a keyframe there to remember how your saver if it is looking like before you change the frame and when you change the frame and draw or adjust the saver effect again it will then put a keyframe automatically you don't have to do that again and that way you can animate the saver through multiple frames let me just show you guys what i mean so here we are on the second frame that i'm working on as soon as i change any point of the saver you're gonna see a keyframe popping out on the timeline so this keyframe is gonna be a path keyframe which is again gonna remember how the saver is supposed to look like at this exact frame now we just adjust the saver again to match our characters outlines this is how we make sure that our saver effect keeps on sticking to our characters outline and does not go all over the place so you're gonna have to do this for every frame of your clip that you want your saver to be animated on so usually when i have to do this on after effect i usually check every single frame to be as precise as i can so and i usually work with 30 fps clips on after effect not clips 30 fps compositions on after effect and yeah if i make a five second saver effect that will be five into 30 that's 150 frames that i'll have to check and adjust for every single frame so yeah you guys now know why i hate doing this stuff it just takes so much time to make this as precise and accurate as possible uh, it's honestly in my opinion it's not worth it at all because i can do much more complex stuff in that amount of time that i spent drawing over a simple character or a gun skin now i'm just gonna go back to my video layer and go forward in time a bit where i, I want the next keyframe to be i'm just uh, doing this very roughly guys you're gonna have to do this very you know precisely so put as many keyframes as you can on the timeline keep it as close as you can and yeah it, overall it takes a lot of time I'm gonna fast forward this part again well that's pretty much it you know that's all you have to do to make a saver outline or a neon outline over your character or even a gun skin maybe you guys can adjust your color intensity and there's some presets to this saver effect as well in here you guys can check that out as well i'm not gonna go too deep into that but you guys know me i will go that extra mile for my dear subscribers and i'll show you guys how exactly i animate my saver to go around the character or to move around the gun skin that you guys might have already seen me using quite a lot of time for that we're just gonna have to use this animation tools to be more precise we're just gonna have to mess with the start offset and the end offset for this you guys gonna have to go to the beginning of your timeline or where you guys started using the saber put a keyframe there for end offset and make it as less as possible for me it's minus 0 0.20 now go forward in your timeline and put another keyframe there and adjust your you know end offset to be as maximum as possible you guys can also tap and hold and drag the keyframes to change them manually where you want them to be now let's go to the start offset 
So the trick here is to put the keyframe of the start offset a bit ahead of the first keyframe of the end offset. Let the value stay 0. Now go to the end keyframe where you want your saver to finish. Again, the end keyframe for start offset has to be a bit further down the line in the timeline than the end offset's last keyframe. This will make your saver go around the character in a small line rather than sticking to the outside of the character. Make the amount for the last keyframe of start offset as high as possible. That is for me 1.11 or 1.10 I suppose. And I guess I can show you guys how to animate the color as well. Go to the color option then put a keyframe in the beginning. Let the color stay or choose any, whatever color you want for the first keyframe then go further down the timeline a bit more and change the color again go a bit more further and change the color again to whatever you want keep doing this until you're satisfied and that should do the trick once you're done with everything you have to do then just go here and export the video I suggest you guys keep these as high as possible as 1080p and 60fps and quality as high and yeah that should do it. So that is all for this video guys I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something if this video helped you guys even a bit make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake